Welcome everyone to a new video. Today we're gonna do a special video. We got 500 subscribers. So for that I'm gonna show you a special stew recipe. I got here some super delicious meat. Let me know in the comments if you know what meat it is. And this being said, let's start to cook. I said earlier, I got here the meat. It's one kilo, 100 roughly. I put it uh, yesterday in marinade with olive oil, fresh thyme, garlic and spring onion. We're gonna open this a bit later. First, we're gonna get ready because it's a stew. We got here some onions, some garlic. I'm gonna use two white onion, two ba uh, banana shallots and 10 cloves of garlic. So we're gonna prep this and after we carry on with the meat. The onions just roughly chopped, diced. The garlic, I'll show you one, you just cut the, the clove, you cut it in half, just roughly. It doesn't need to be a uh, very small dice because everything, all the vegetables, they basically gonna melt. So I'm gonna finish to prep this and I'll show you what I do with the meat. I finished with the vegetables, so now it's time for the lovely meat. I'm gonna cut the vacuum bag. Basically what I done, I had a whole a rabbit. If you don't like a rabbit, you can use chicken or pork. It's You do it exactly the same like I do it with the rabbit and you'll see it will taste amazing. So the meat what we're gonna use is rabbit. We're just gonna portion it in small pieces. Gonna take the legs and the shoulders off. There is a lot of people who don't like rabbit, so you can use chicken or pork. It's pretty similar. The only thing with the rabbit meat, it's much healthier. I'll finish to portion the rabbit and I'll show you the next step. So I finished to portion it up. I got here the neck, part of the back the two legs from the front. I got liver, if you can see how clean and nice the liver is. Two kidneys. The back legs, they are very nice, very meaty. And part of the loin, of the back. So we're gonna start to cook this and after you'll see the rest of the ingredients. I got here a 10 liter pot. So I'm gonna put some extra virgin olive oil in to get very hot and after we're gonna start to cook the meat. Make sure the oil is super hot. When the oil is hot you take each single piece of rabbit and you put it in. And this is the sound which you should hear. And we cook this nicely on both sides until it's get, getting some color and after we go in with the rest of the ingredients. Now after 5 minutes I think it's time to turn the meat on the other side. You can see how nice color it got. Golden brown. Flip it on the other side and leave it for another 5 minutes.
Now at this point we're gonna put in the onion and the garlic which I chopped earlier, which I showed you earlier. We're gonna put this in. Salt and pepper. And we will give a good mix. After the onion cooked for like 5-6 minutes, we're gonna go in with the rest of the spices. And I got here sweet paprika 2 tablespoons, cayenne pepper 1 teaspoon, and I got just a dust of dry thyme. Remember we put already thyme when we had the uh, rabbit in the marinade overnight. So we put all this mix in. Make sure you use a good quality paprika because you want it to taste nice, not bitter and don't cook too much the paprika. If you cook too much the paprika, the whole dish will taste bitter. Mix it well. And remember, we didn't put the kidneys in. We put the kidneys only now before we add the stock. Now for the stock, I done here yesterday one liter of chicken stock. I put two carcasses, two chicken carcasses, carrots, onions, uh, cabbage, celery, everything in. It's super good. I'm gonna put one liter of stock just to cover it and now I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna leave it to simmer for one hour now this is how it looks after one hour of cooking now I got here some dal or yellow lentil I'm gonna put this in You need around 100-120 grams of dal. Make sure it's all covered in in, uh, in liquid. All the meat is cooked, is falling apart. And for the dal, you need around 20 minutes to simmer on low heat. And also. We're gonna put the liver in. And I got here two tablespoons of tomato puree. One and two. That should be enough. Give a good mix. So it, everything is combining nicely. And how I said, leave it for another 20 minutes to simmer on low heat. After two hours of cooking, slow cooking, this is how it looks. You can see the lentil is cooked, the dal. So I'm gonna put a portion in a bowl and we're gonna do a taste test. All you need for this is nice fresh bread or flat bread, whichever you prefer. This is how it looks. Let's try it. So after two hours of cooking, my food is ready. You can see. Let's try it. I got here some flat bread. I'm gonna dip this in. First we try the sauce. Mm. Look, the meat is so tender, it's just falling apart. Hmm. 
Absolutely perfect. Spot on, perfect. It absolutely tastes amazing. So if you want to see more recipes with stews, I'm going to carry on doing this. And please let me know in the comments if it's something which you would like to see more on my channel. This being said, don't forget to press the subscribe button and I'll see you next time with a new stew recipe. Thank you very much for watching.